Hi guys, it's Laura. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. I am here today with my bullet journal update. I started keeping this journal on October 24th and I filmed a video about it in which I have shown you the design and explained why I started keeping this and I also told you in the video that I'm gonna film an update at the end of the year. The video is linked down below if you missed that or if you're new here in that case welcome and thank you for stopping by yeah so now i'm gonna tell you if i still find it useful if i really went through with it and anything that is to say about this journal at this point and also i have a little surprise for you at the end so if you want to know more about that then please keep watching so probably the most important thing to say about this journal is i really went through with this and i really found this journal wonderful and super helpful I am usually a very organized person, very disciplined person, but this definitely gave me some extra ass kicks. And I think I accomplished a few things faster because of this journal, because I have written it down. And once it's written down, I feel a little extra pressure to finish the things. So I've been really giving me some kicks in my rear ends so that the things will get done so that I don't have to rewrite them in the journal. About the design, I did not really change anything because I still feel that the design I started with is perfectly functional for me. So there are only a few small additions. So for example, I added a few lines to my tracker. I also created a key for my tracker, which I will explain in a minute. And next to the tracker, I added two empty pages so that I can write down my thoughts concerning that certain month, if something special happened or if I find that I need to write something down that might help me in the future. The key for my tracker is very simple. I have a key for sports because I used to make only a checking sign so that I knew I've been doing sports. But now I created a key where I have a B for ballet, an L for a leg day, a B for apps, P for pole dance, a little heart if I do a mix of everything and why for yoga. I also have a key for nail polish because I want to know how long my nail polish lasts and I also want to know how often did I remove my nail polish because the remover is pretty aggressive for the nails and sometimes when, I, when my nails feel really dry I want to know is it because I'm missing something in my nutrition or is it because of the nail polish remover. So I created a very easy key, an arrow down means I removed the nail polish and a checking sign means I applied the nail polish and that's pretty much it about the tracker and the two additional pages. One thing changed, I started using these pants. These are, I think they are called Pilot. Anyway, these are rollerballs with a little er eraser on the back. So when you write with them and they dry, they would not bleed out. And what happened to me with the simple pencil was that I was writing things down. And when I closed the book, you had kind of a mirror image on the other side, even though it was lighter and I just didn't like it. So I'm using these, whichever color I have. I'm not so much into this super color scheme in my bullet journal because it just has to be functional. And I don't care that much about if it's pretty or not. And that's all I have to say. The rest remained the same. So I always have the date and then the tasks. If I have to move the task, I will make an error. Error. I always say it the wrong way. Arrow next to the task with the date that I moved it to. And that's something that's definitely kicking my butt because if I have to write the task down for the third time, it starts feeling pretty stupid. So I just do it so that it's done unless it's something that I have to postpone because of course there are always exceptions, but in general, it's definitely good for me. So overall, I am really happy with this thing. I will definitely continue keeping this journal. And to my surprise, I grew really fond of this sparkly thing, even the little hearts inside. So I bought myself a second one just like this instead of the real bullet journal because I just like it. I think it's really pretty. And I thought I should give one away for you guys since I find it so great. So I found the same journal only in rose gold. I found this color so gorgeous and I'm gonna give it away with matching nail polish. The nail polish is of course cruelty free and vegan. I double checked. And also I have here a lip gloss from BH Cosmetics, which is also vegan and cruelty free. 
in a matching shade so you can wheeze these wheeze you can no you, you can't wheeze you can win these things that's what i wanted to say as usual i'm hosting my giveaway on rafacopter that means in the description box is a link that you have to click on and then you can register for the giveaway either with your facebook account or if you don't want to use your Facebook account or if you don't have a Facebook account, all you will need is a valid email address and your name. And Refercopter is going to tell you everything you need to do in order to be able to register. Since it is already the 22nd of December, it is pretty late. So there is no way I could ship this before Christmas. And some of you might be going over Christmas and maybe even miss this video. I have decided to let this giveaway go till the 1st of December. No, not that that's not gonna work. 1st of January 2018, midnight Vienna time, and I will announce the winner on the 2nd of January on my Instagram account, Lara Eats Vegan, which is also linked down below. So if you do not have an Instagram account, do not worry, just use the link down below. Then you can view the photos that I have posted. Plus, once you register, I will have an email address uh, for you. So if you win, I will contact you personally anyway. And the only mandatory thing is to be a subscriber of this channel. So if you're new here, welcome. If you subscribe to my channel now, you can still take part in this giveaway. You can earn an extra point if you follow me on Instagram, which is not mandatory. And I will ask you a few questions, which is just my personal curiosity. Also, I want to know what videos do you enjoy, guys. But don't worry about that. There is no right or wrong answer. And that's pretty much it. So all rules are written in detail down below in the description box. There is the link to the giveaway. I have written again the date when the giveaway ends and when I will announce the winners. So if that was too fast, just go to the description box. Everything's there. This is basically the place to be because there are also all of my Instagram accounts and the discount codes that I have for you guys. I have also listed down below playlists that might be interesting for you. And if I used any music in this video, it's always listed down below anyway. And that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for this amazing gear. I can't say thank you often enough. I actually never really planned this channel, but I had a gut feeling I should do it. So I went with it and now I'm super happy I did because I really enjoy this and I hope you do too. And I'm really happy that I have a little present for you. So that's my video for today. If you're taking part in this giveaway, then I wish you good luck. I wish you a wonderful Christmas. I hope you're gonna have an amazing time. And I'm looking forward to seeing you with my next video. Love you guys so much. So see you soon. Bye.